You're listening to the Hope Revealed Podcast Network with your host, Matt Crump. The Hope Revealed Podcast Network is home to shows like Hope Revealed, God's Got This Stories, Fight School with co-host and Emmy Award winning director, Bill Nolan, on Clubhouse, the new international room called Let's Get Naked and Cancer FU, Fighters United, or his LinkedIn show called Matt Chat Live. Every episode of every show is designed to give you inspiration, motivation, hope, and the tools you need to navigate life successfully at home, business, or career. So now, your host, coach, consultant, and purveyor of hope, Matt Crump. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Matt Chat Live. Today is, what is today? Today's May 5th, 2021. Yesterday was Star Wars Day, May 4th. May the 4th be with you. Everybody talks about all the time. Crazy. So uh, I sure am glad to have you all here with us today. We are going to have some fun. We've already had some fun already before the show's even started. You have no idea. Um, You never will have an idea, but it was pretty fun. We'll talk about it maybe later. But uh, anyway, I'm super, super glad to have a phenomenal guest today. And we've had a good time chatting back and forth over the past, well, I guess how long we've talked, maybe a couple months or so, and then uh, just ramping up to today. So it's been fun. So you're gonna have a good time with her today. And I'll tell you more about that guest in just a moment. Uh, but we've got several things that have been happening here over the past uh, week or so. Last week, I was able to launch um, Boomerang DNA, my mastermind. Now that is a 90 day mastermind that I've got opportunities for people to be a part of 10 people. Um, So this week I announced that uh, the cutoff time is May 10th. So right now, between now and May 10th, if you're watching this show live, uh, you have an opportunity to be a part of Boomerang DNA. You can find out more about that by going to that site at boomerangdna.com. I'll have a little spot for that in just a moment. I do have a couple of sponsors on today's show, and I'm super excited to bring on one of our new sponsors, MF Consulting. All right, so we got another guest coming up, and that's her right there. She's a pretty awesome gal, Amity Education Group, uh, and Eddie Bellani, and I'm super, super excited to have her today. So I'd like to welcome to this episode, 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 that's a neat word, episode, that's an episode of a show, episode. Anyway, here's Nettie Bellani. Welcome to the show today, Nettie. I'm glad to have you here. Hi, Matt. Thank you so much for having me. And I'm really sorry for waking you up so early. <laughs> I know, but you can't tell that people 9 a.m. is like people are like, why is 9 a.m. early for this guy? That's horrible. But I, okay, fine. I'll, I'll take it like, back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's all right. I'm usually up to like three or four in the morning, sometimes later. It just depends. But um, anyway, I got to adjust my clock. So it's it's really cool to have you here today. I'm so glad we had some fun already behind behind the stage. I know. Before. <laughs> It's been a fun morning, (laughs) Um, but we're here, we're here, and uh, I'm so glad to have you. So if you wouldn't mind just saying hello to the folks and tell tell folks a little bit about you, who you are, and uh, what your business is, and how you're here to help folks. Great, fantastic. Hi, everyone. Uh, Whoever's watching, really happy to be on this show today. Uh, So I'm Nidhi Bilani. Um, I'm actually in Singapore, and that's why there's a huge time difference. Uh, It's 9.30 p.m. here, and... uh, So uh, a little bit about me uh, is that I'm actually an interview specialist and also a people skills coach. Uh, I'm also a founder of Success Talks, the company that's written just behind me here. Um, I'm also a certified image consultant, uh, NLP coach, and actual certified trainer. Uh, so I, we, I run a coaching academy. So Success Talks is a coaching academy which uh, primarily focuses on, uh, you know, uh, working with career-oriented individuals and you know, with them globally. Uh, to be able to, you know, uh, 
is through the through their interviews so that they can get hired for their dream job. Uh, but also I'm a people skills coach. So I do, uh, you know, do proper training uh, related to people skills. So yeah, that's about me. That's awesome. So I guess obviously today in the virtual world, you do a lot of things virtually, but um, is, is your work prime virtually anyway? Uh, do you deal with people around the world or is it specifically around Singapore and other areas there out in the Asia province or is it, uh, where, where might that be? Yeah, no, so that's, uh, that's amazing about the whole online platform. And uh, to be very honest, uh, I started this coaching in 2017, although I've been in the trading industry for almost 15 years now. Uh, but this particular coaching started in 2017, and there's a story behind it as well, which I'll share with you shortly, how it all uh, you know, got together. Uh, yeah, but, but the thing is, I was always doing it online because I never wanted to set up a physical space. I wanted to breach the barrier of you know, physical space and to be able to reach out to people globally. So I actually have students even from US, uh, UK. I do have students from you know, Asia. I have a lot of students from uh, India, of course. <laughs> That's where I come from originally, so there's a lot of following there. Yeah, so I do actually have students globally, and you know, I was on the platform even before the pandemic and everything happened. So <laughs> I was yeah. pretty grateful to to know that you know things can run virtually. So, what got you interested in being an interview specialist, and what's that all about? Is that getting people lined up to know how to do a resume and how to talk themselves to get a job, or what's that, what's that all about? Yeah, actually, there's a lot of it, uh, not just the CV and, and the, you know, uh, talking bits. Uh, so I'll tell you a little more detail, but let me share with you, you know, how I got into it in the first place. So um, I came to Singapore in 2007 to fly for Singapore Airlines, and I was a cabin crew for 10 years. Uh, but even before I came to Singapore, I was actually a trainer back in India. So I was doing communications training. And... Uh, I think I always knew deep down uh, when I was really young that I wanted to be a trainer. <laughs> Don't ask me really? why or how. <laughs> I always knew. I just always knew that I wanted to train people. I wanted to coach people and stuff like that. So when I got to Singapore, when I, when I joined Singapore Alliance, I actually got an opportunity to do training with them. So I took it up. So I was actually doing training, recruitment and things like that uh, with Singapore Alliance, which gave me definitely a lot of exposure, a lot of experience. And... Um, in 2017, I actually, a year before that, I broke my tailbone. <laughs> on oh my one of the gosh, <laughs> that wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah, so then uh, obviously, you know, with the whole medical thing, uh, there has to be sort of an end to the whole flying career. But this is how I put it across. I found a guy who's going to marry me with a broken tailbone. So I was like, okay, let's seal the deal. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> no, he was very encouraging. Actually, uh, my husband is a musician and he used to have a YouTube channel when we, you know, when we just met and, you know, started dating. And he was the one who started encouraging me that, you know, since I have so much experience in the whole cabin crew world, I should try and use that experience to see how I can help people. So, uh, Slowly, the coaching developed into, you know, training people for interviews because that is where the need was. And um, as, as a coach, I wanted to develop a speciality. I wanted to do a niche. And I realized interviews for cabin crew aspirants in particular was something that was kind of lacking in the space when it comes to coaching. So, yeah, so that's how the whole interview, uh, you know, being an interview specialist came about. But then, of course, I'm also a people skills coach, so I do bring along those elements. So when we coach our students, we do have a lot of different programs. We have like two days program, three months program. So we kind of cover everything from, you know, making your CV to your cover letter to how to groom yourself and how, you know, how to, how to deal with your fears in particular, because I think that's a huge aspect of interviews. And I'm an NLP coach. So I do bring a, a lot of that into our uh, coaching when we train people how to deal with your fears, you know, the whole communications aspect of it, how to build a goal with your interviewers and things like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's, what we do. Oh, that's amazing. So I wonder if it's hard for you when you first start talking to somebody, if you say, welcome to our first session, please have a seat over here. And uh, if you need help during the time, there will be an oxygen mask that falls directly to you. <laughs> <laughs> that as an intro for my YouTube channel. I think I like that idea. <laughs> I think you should do something. That'd be fun. That's interesting, for sure. So, um, I'm sure you've had a blast with this and you have a great time with folks. And there's probably some very serious moments as well because there's you talked about fear. And, uh, you know, I guess within the past uh, past year or so with, uh, with the whole yeah. virus thing, 
There have been uh, even more fears, people feeling that there's uh, an oversaturation in the marketplace. There's uh, not yeah. as many job opportunities as there used to be because everybody's trying to work. And now uh, some corporations are trying to shift to save money. And now they realize the value yeah. of, of working virtually. Uh, yeah. how's, how's that impacted uh, your work and or the people you speak with? Do you find that there's more uh, need to press into that area where people are looking for a, a new way to represent themselves or a new way to get into the marketplace? Absolutely. So, so actually, there the are two sides to it, and that's a very interesting question given you know the current situation. So, uh, interestingly, uh, all the students who are actually in our interview program, uh, their 2020 has been quite an amazing uh, year for them because. All of them actually found a job. All of them initially joined us because they wanted to be cabin crew, but because no, you know, hiring was happening in that particular space. Uh, so the interview coaching that we did actually allowed them to stand out in comparison to other people who were applying for jobs at the same time. And uh, they all actually happened to secure a job, and all of them are actually working right now. So that is one thing that uh, we take a lot of pride in. Uh, so, so that's one aspect to it. But of course, on the other side, uh, yes. Uh, the demand versus the supply, obviously, the, there is definitely a lot of imbalance there. So uh, we've been working on that part a little bit from a different aspect, and let me share that with you. So uh, obviously, you know, we also have to, have to adapt a little bit with our coaching and stuff like that. So uh, currently, we teach our students how to, you know, connect with people over LinkedIn and how, you know, to use the social media platform to build those kind of relationships in the professional networking world, because you can't just wait for an opportunity to come to you. You can't just sit here and, you know, look through the internet and see, okay, there is a job coming up. I'm going to go ahead and apply. You have to put yourself out there. You have to build rapport. You have to do a bit of networking and things like that. So that's what we actually teach our students as well, you know, how to how to create those opportunities along the way uh, just by building networks. So, you know, even if you don't end up doing your dream job at the end of the day, just by networking with people, you actually gain a lot of experience along the way. And that would definitely earn you some money if not the money that you will get from your dream job. So, so definitely the focus is there as well, just gain relevant experience by just putting yourself out there and networking with people and creating opportunities. Yeah, well, that's awesome. So what do you find? Um, I'm, a, I'm a big LinkedIn guy. It's my main platform, my social media home. Do you find there are a lot of opportunities for people to engage on LinkedIn still or um, does not look as, as fruitful as it used to? So I will be really honest, Matt. Um, I'm not the one who takes the LinkedIn course in my, uh, you know, uh, training program. I do have a uh, have a coach with me, uh, Vivek Vivekiani, who is actually a millennial specialist, and uh, he's the one who does more of the LinkedIn program. In fact, I am myself pretty new on LinkedIn, <laughs> and I'm learning a lot of things along the way with Vivek and stuff like that. Uh, but I, I still do feel there are a lot of connections to make on LinkedIn at this point in time. Of course, it is definitely a bit saturated, but it, it, it's still better than being on Instagram and TikTok. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely can build professional networks. And Sounds like I need to get plugged into my uh, my LinkedIn coaching. We'll do that a little bit later. We can talk that about that after the show. But that's all, that's all right. Sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Uh, Let's get back to uh, all right. So your husband, like you, uh, you guys met. You were still uh, you were still on on a flight crew. Um, how did you bump into him? Did you meet him on an airplane? Did you find him at town somewhere or shopping or how did it happen? <laughs> so I do have a story which I tell people. Uh, and I'm gonna oh, there's a story. The there's two sides of stories. One you tell people. <laughs> there's one you don't tell people. Okay. I see. <laughs> So, so my husband is a musician, and I and I always tell people that you know he was playing on the streets of Singapore, and then I kind of spotted him, and he was playing really good music, and I got so mesmerized, and I really wanted to be with him. <laughs> but that's not true. <laughs> it was um, it was it was a blind date. I, I wouldn't call it a blind date. It was like a setup thing that was done by our friends, and you know, yeah, yeah. A blind so, date. So we had a pretty. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you could call that. But I think what, what sealed the deal was because he was pretty, uh, pretty mature. Because uh, I'm elder, I'm a little elder to him. Uh, he's younger than me. And uh, you know, on our first date, I, I mean, most guys would probably, you know, get really scared and run away when a girl says something like that. And <laughs> on my first date, I told him that, you know, 
I really want to get married like in the next few months. So <laughs> if you want to get married <laughs> in the next few months, <laughs> we can do this the next time. But if you are not looking to get married, let's See let's later. Not waste each other's time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I think it was pretty committed. So yeah. So did you get married in a few months? Actually, we did get married pretty fast. Yeah, and in fact, uh, I was the one who proposed, and uh, he was in a shock, and he was like, "You know what? I." I need some time. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, you were all about the time. interview process. You were interviewing from the jump. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Well, we're going to back, folks, in just a few more minutes and uh, and learn some more sure. things about Nettie and her business. Until then, I've got uh, another great sponsor I want to talk about today. It's an encapsulator.io, a friend of mine, Danny Shannon from uh, Australia. I'll tell you about that in just a second. Be right back. This is Matt Crump. Are you ready to break out of average in your business, your career, or your life? Boomerang DNA is a mastermind that will help you find your true purpose and live it out. We'll show you how coming back to your core design, well, it'll lead you towards breaking the addiction of casual with meaning and complacency that be crushed by purpose. You deserve more than just an average life. You deserve a life full of meaning fulfillment and passion. So let's unlock the code. I'm here to help you get there and you'll have access to everything I do only if you join us for this mastermind called Boomerang DNA where I show you how living authentically to the core, well, it'll change everything. It'll change everything about who you are today starting right now. In order to join this mastermind, click on the link below or you can go right to boomerangdna.com or you can call us at 1-910-228-0459. Again, you can go to boomerangdna.com right now or call 1-910-228-0459 in order to be one of 10 people enrolling in a Givers Get Mastermind called Boomerang DNA. I'll be talking to you soon. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a home run. See you there. DNA coming up. Uh, well, right now I'm in the middle of our launch for that. So if you are interested in learning more, you can go to the website boomerangdna.com. There's a bunch of info there as well as an opportunity to apply and register and speak with yours truly right here. And we'll have a one-on-one -on -one talk about what that looks like, uh, costs, uh, commitment, all those types of things. And of course, all the things that I'll do for you are on that site. Um, and that's all of my stuff. So that's marketing, design, um, business stuff, personal stuff, personal development, overcoming obstacles, achieving goals. I mean, <clears throat> a plethora of things. So you'll be able to do that. And also wanted to just give kudos to encapsulator.io. And it's a really cool program. I don't know if you've ever seen it or heard of it before, but it's a really cool place. It's a, it's a video time vault. So you can encapsulator.io and find out about that. Now, what would you use a video time vault for? Well, I mean, when I was a kid, we did time vaults. We gra grabbed things from the time frame that we were in. Um, I started doing time vaults, I guess, uh, <clears throat> 1970 something, let's just say that. And uh, we buried a bunch of stuff from that era. And sometime in the future, it got dug up. Um, well, I know that mine got dug up probably like uh, 20 years ago already. And a bunch of kids saw what we put inside of that thing, which is pretty cool, right? So Encapsulator um, IO does the same kind of thing, except you're doing a video time vault for yourself or family or business. Uh, there's already a bunch of folks that are using it for different things like psychologists. They use it for parts of their treatment. Uh, teams are using it in business to do uh, some goal planning and setting for their companies. So it's a pretty cool place to go to later dot I O. All right. So uh, one other thing tonight is uh, look at that 
beautiful gal. One of the things here uh, at 7 p.m. Well, at 7 p.m., that's right, coming up is Let's Get Naked on Clubhouse. So love for you to come with us there. Obviously, Let's Get Naked is an all audio platform. However, uh, we have a blast at uh, Let's Get Naked every Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. Eastern. That's, uh, let's see, 4 o'clock Pacific, 9 a.m. in Australia. And uh, man, that'd be 7 a.m. in Singapore. So that'd be uh, pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> right when you're waking up, you can be a part of that, Daddy. When you can come on, let's get naked. Uh, you'll be kind of tired sure. and jumping into walls, but you know, it'd be kind of fun. But uh, so, and then of course, today we've got our incredible guest, uh, Nettie Bellani, and she is an awesome gal that works with folks for uh, interviewing, uh, working with uh, CVs, and helping folks to understand what they and how they present themselves to others, how they can overcome obstacles, obviously, in their own lives, and actually have a chance to get the job of their lives, right? But sometimes the dream job requires a couple of steps. And it might mean you don't exactly get the dream job, but you get a good job. And you could take that good job for a while and move uh, from place to place. And then one day you might make it to that exact thing you were wanting all along. Um, so it's just a matter of working it out. A friend of mine that I had, uh, Meher is his name. He was He's an HR specialist. Um, he mm -hmm. was in... Um, Oh boy, where was he? Not Bangladesh. He was, uh, well, it was another country. He went from one country to another. He ended up in Canada. And uh, he's been an HR guy the whole time, but he took a job outside of HR. He worked outside of HR for over a year, yeah. um, had to pay the bills. And eventually he got hired by a company. Uh, he's gotten in an HR position and now he's doing uh, really well as a lead executive inside of a, a HR, uh, working for HR for a company. So he's doing really great, enjoying his life and doing some really cool things. So I bet you you've exactly. met people like that. Haven't you met people like that that have had to go from one place Absolutely. to another? Absolutely. And that's what I recommend, actually. I, I do recommend doing that. I mean, for me in particular, I think gaining relevant experience, I mean, gaining experience in general is, is really important. And, you know, if it helps you, and, and that would definitely help you to secure your dream job at the end of the day. And, and a lot of students who come to me, especially because a lot of my audience uh, still are people who are cabin crew aspirants, because I, I, with all the following that I have on social media, uh, most of them are still cabin crew aspirants. And of course, nobody in the aviation industry is hiring right now. So, so that's what I tell people. But, you know, just go out there, create opportunities, gain some experience if you can, and that's definitely going to be an add-on once you get the, get the right opportunity. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if you've had any folks that have been clients or students that have gone through your program, maybe didn't land that dream job, but um, they maybe kept kept touch with you over a period of time and eventually said, oh, guess what? This week, I just want to let you know I finally got a job and blah, 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 I got this and that. Have you ever had that happen before with some of your former uh, students? Yeah, a lot actually, but I'm actually in touch with all my students. <laughs> so, so that's one. Uh, but I get a lot of those messages because um, I have a lot of people who follow me on YouTube, Instagram in total. I think it's about 50,000 people, including Instagram, YouTube. So I get a lot of messages from people. And, you know, sometimes you're not able to open up those messages in time. And then, you know, a few, minutes, a few months later, you get a message saying that, hey, I actually got a job watching your YouTube video. In fact, just recently, I opened up my email and I got a got an email from somebody and, and he was telling me he actually got a job during pandemic as a customer service executive in Qatar Airways and he actually got a job in January. In fact, one of my students actually also got a job recently in Doha. She just moved and all these people actually got jobs during pandemic. Yeah. Wow, so that's really good. Employed. Yeah, and in fact, one of my students was really happy that he came for it. So, so this was the most interesting one actually and, and I do have his testimony that I share, to, share with a lot of people all the time. So, so he came to us because he actually wanted to be a cabin crew. This is not the first time that this has happened with me. Uh, and, you know, along the way, we did the whole coaching. We, we taught what we do and things like that. And, and, you know, we figured out that he actually never really wanted to be a cabin crew. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to, you know, he just wanted to experience the whole, whole thing about cabin crew, that they're really outgoing, you know, they can talk to anybody. And he actually is now a digital marketing specialist for the company uh, with all the skills that he learned uh, in his interview, you know, interview coaching program with us. And now he's able to, you know, talk to people. He, he is actually mentoring close to 80 people right now under him. So that's, that's, that's just amazing. And he tells me that's all because, you know, we taught him how to smile and we taught him how to, you know, just connect with people and to be able to interact with people. So. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we get get a lot of that, a lot of that, and and that's just amazing. It's 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 very touching when I read those messages. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. I think what's really good for folks to hear today is that there is there's hope. Uh, there are people that you just mentioned that are being hired uh, right now, uh, even during the epidemic. And um, <clears throat> as we're speaking right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. You um, you originally are from India, and there is a lot of of issues, a lot of problems happening yeah. in India right now. Definitely, uh, the uh, the virus is going rampant there right now, and a lot of people are suffering and going through some hard times. And of course, the rest of the world is on guard uh, here in the United States. Yeah. You know, we've got a scene, and we're trying to get things out. But I've been keeping up with that, and sounds like we're going to try to get some stuff yeah. that way because obviously we don't want. One, we don't like what's going on in India for, for the folks of India. It's yeah. a horrible thing. Two, we don't want it to leave India and go everywhere else and and have this Absolutely. massive thing happen again, right? So that's not a good thing at all. So I think some folks around the world are trying to get rally to do do some some major uh, help there. But um, you know, just for folks, if you're thinking about it right now, obviously this is May fifth, and some a lot of you are going to be watching the replay. Um, you know, just be praying yeah. for India and pray for uh, for things to get better there and and disease to, to end and uh, people to be able to get back to life. There's a lot of great people in India that are um, really working hard. Well, they all are good people, but they're working really hard. And uh, there's a lot of folks there that I know that have uh, fantastic educational backgrounds, uh, extremely intelligent people and don't have a job. And uh, now with yeah. the virus getting so hard there, it's even it's even harder to to do that. So um, it's a, they definitely need our thoughts and prayers. So, so Absolutely. thank you for doing the work that you do there. And I'm sure that um, there's folks that look to you uh, in India as a as a sign of hope and opportunity for things to happen. I mean, things have happened well for you. Heck, you met a, a cool musician guy on a date and stalked him and told him you wanted to marry him. I mean, come on. So I mean, it's, can, anything can possibly happen, right? So, <laughs> oh, my Lord. Not the best example people want to want to hear, and I, and I hope my husband doesn't hear it's a, it. But it's a good one. It's a good one. So, so Nettie, yeah, if there is um, obviously we do have a, a website that folks can go to if they want to uh, to find you, and that is uh, pretty simple. It's your name. It's Nettie Dash Balani dot com. Uh, see that dash there in the middle. Uh, what are folks going to find when they come to that website? So, a couple of interesting things uh, we do have. Uh, some free stuff on the website that always is exciting for people. So we do have checklists that can help people with interviews, you know. Always feel checklists are amazing tools uh, to, you know, sort yourself out. So so we do have that. Uh, so uh, on my YouTube, I actually do a lot of uh, education-based videos, especially, uh, you know, everything to do with communications and interviews in particular. So uh, we, we have this thing which, which is Ask Me Anything, and then we have a lot of categories where people can submit their questions and I basically take up those questions and make videos. So it's, it's, it's very, um, you know, uh, very specific and targeted in terms of what people really want to know. So that's one thing. Uh, we do actually have an online course as well, which is on Udemy right now for CV, uh, if people want to do their own personalized CV. Uh, I, always, I always say there are no perfect CVs, there are only personalized CVs. So um, we have a course uh, up and running for CV, uh, which people can access, uh, can, can access. And at the same time, uh, we run, uh, we try to run weekly webinars, uh, which are absolutely free. Uh, where people can come and, you know, uh, join and gain information, share insights and experience. So uh, they can just register for that and they become part of our uh, weekly newsletter as well once we do that. Uh, yeah. So, so oh, oh, I do have another exciting thing that we do. <laughs> oh, and, good. Um, this is what I call Airflix. <laughs> Airflix. Yeah. So just like Netflix, we have uh, our um, platform that we call Airflix. Now, um, Airflix is basically a subscription-based program, but what we do in that program is that it's a closed Facebook group that we have. And uh, you pay, you know, it's, it's a very uh, reasonable amount that we charge. And uh, you basically get to practice questions, which means that every week we give you a question for interviews and you make a video and you put your video out there and I give you the personalized feedback. And in that way, you're not just practicing for video interviews, but at the same time, you're developing your confidence. And you also, you know, uh, get to see what other people are doing. So it's, it's a great learning platform. But we call it Airflix because, you know, it was 
for cabin crew aspirants to begin with. <laughs> so that's where the word air came from. And Love it's a subscription based, based model, so we call it air place. But, but uh, currently we're open to, you know, we're, we're opening to not just cabin crew aspirants, as I said, you know, we, we're, we're training people through the whole interview process, not just for, for the cabin crew jobs, but for any jobs and, you know, creating opportunities, networking and all of that. So That's yeah. amazing. It's fun. Uh, and it's a great opportunity for folks that don't have a ton of cash and need just to get some some great uh, input in their lives and opportunity to grow. And it's great yeah. you have that type of an option for folks as well. So again, you can go to netty-balani.com to get some of that information, maybe even uh, sign up for Airflix, get some Airflix going on in your life. You never know when you might need some Airflix, right? So it's gonna be some good stuff. Man, it's gonna be fantastic. So I'm so, so grateful for you. You're an incredible person, a great spirit. Um, you definitely would have been fantastic on the cabin because you were a cabin crew because you're an amazing people person. You love people. And that's one of the reasons why I'm sure you do what you do because you still love people yeah. and want to help them. And this is a great way for you to be able to do that. And uh, your reach has been uh, been fantastic, how it's been able to extend, uh, especially now during this period of time. And uh, there was, um, uh, well, not if there is a moment here. I've got this moment here now. People are watching, maybe some folks from, uh, well, it doesn't matter where, but I mean, of course, India, of course, if they're watching and not, uh, not too hopeful right now because of so much opposition yeah. in their lives. Uh, it's pretty pretty heavy, and I know we're gonna have a lot of folks yeah. watching from India. I have a lot of followers on LinkedIn there. Um, you you would have more followers on LinkedIn too if you did more on LinkedIn, but that's another story. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> for folks that are watching, like like folks in India and or anywhere else in the world that uh, are really struggling to find that that job or even their dream job, they're really frustrated with what they're doing. They know yeah. that they're created for more. They have skills, talents, and abilities that aren't fully being used, and they feel like just hitting a wall. Um, what's something you could say to those people in a minute or two that would help them to know how to get to the next place? Yeah, so I always feel, you know, there's a purpose for everything that happens in our life. And uh, if you're not at a place where you feel you're meant to be, just hang on for a while. Uh, just look at the positive side of things. As, as I said, there is a reason why we're there. Obviously, for all of us out here as well, not every day is really great. You know, we don't wake up and we have like uh, people lined up who want to sign up for coaching programs, right? Uh, everyone goes through a lot of struggle, whether you're an entrepreneur, whether you're in a job. Uh, but yes, of course, uh, if you feel that, you know, you're made for more, uh, Look into what are your strengths and how you can use them. And that is something that we also do as part of our coaching program. But of course, look on the positive side of things. Don't just focus on the negative side of things. Um, it, this is something that I just want to quickly share with all of you here, and especially now that you brought that up, uh, Matt. Um, I actually work uh, seven days a week. <laughs> and uh, uh, my full-time job is still not really coaching at this point in time. I actually do have a full-time job. I, I, I work for the company full-time. And uh, I do this on Saturdays and Sundays, and especially when I finish work over week, weekdays, because I really want to be able to do this, you know? This is my, this is my passion that I do want to turn into profession. And, and I take time out to do it. I go for a full-time job from nine to seven, and then I come home and I sit in front of my laptop and I do what I can. And then I invest in my Saturdays and Sundays to do coaching and, you know, marketing and things like that and make videos. So, you know, where there is a will, I always say there is a way you will find a way to get to where you want to be. Of course, uh, the situation is not probably in, in your, you know, on your side all the time, but just hang in there, just be positive, just learn from the experiences, just learn from the purpose for, for what you're doing at that point in time. Yeah. No, that's fantastic, Nitty. Thanks for sharing that. Um, that one, you are not just a coach, but you're also, you're also a person that's in the same spot. You are working, uh, another job and doing something that you're passionate at the same time. And then one day, if the doors uh, open and everything aligns and you have an opportunity to be, you know, full time and just this with success talks and everything that you're doing right now. Awesome. Yeah. Right. But if not, you're still passionate about doing what you do and you've got to do what it takes to get to that spot anyway. Right. So that's really yeah. good news to hear and fantastic for folks that might be considering like, I wonder if I should even pay this girl any money. She's probably doing so good. She doesn't need me to, 
she's just like you. And that's exactly what you want is somebody that knows that and understands. And, uh, you know, she has some, some, some moments that she's been blessed with to have some education and knowledge that maybe you don't have. And that's a great place to learn uh, through her program and on Airflix as well as, you know, that's kind of cool. <laughs> You love that word, don't you? <laughs> I, I like that. I'm going to take that one, but I can't. It's yours. I'll come up with some. I'll come up with some. All right. So there's your website again, <laughs> Nettie Balani. And I am so, so grateful that you had uh, some time to spend with us tonight. I know it's time for you to wind things down for your evening and get ready to go to sleep here shortly and start your day off tomorrow. What is today? Today's Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, so it's uh, Thursday morning. Come up yeah, I don't sleep that early. That's all right. All right. Yeah, you're going to be up late, right? And up early. You're amazing. You're amazing. So uh, thank you so much for being here today with us. I appreciate you being a part of Matt Chat Live. And uh, again, folks, you know, if there's a way you'd like, like to uh, get connected with her, you can easily do that one more time. We'll put up her website and uh, you can find out all kinds of information about what she has available. And uh, maybe even if you can't start right now, she's got many ways for you to connect with her through her YouTube channel and her tutorials, through her um membership site there with uh, with Airflix and, and even more. So um, there's there's a way you can get connected with her and learn how to work on yourself, to put yourself out there, to be able to get that dream job because it's possible. Um, it doesn't mean you always have to sit in some place you don't want to be. Um, but if you yeah. don't want to do something about it, you're never going to leave. So that there's just a big opportunity to do something about it. So thank you so much for being here again today. We appreciate you. Thanks for being here on Matt Chat Live. Thanks, Matt. I uh, really, really want to say a huge thank you for having me here. And, uh, you know, especially uh, hearing from one of my interns. Uh, so, so that one of my interns actually reached out to you. Just want to take this opportunity to say this here. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm training a couple of interns to, you know, do people skills and, you know, reach out to people. So that's another uh, small project that I'm running on the site. And that was that was actually an intern challenge that we were running. <laughs> uh, so this, this podcast, this, 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 coming onto the show was part of like this intern challenge. <laughs> oh, that's great. We just had to go out there and, you know, reach people. So that's what we were doing. But I really appreciate, you know, that, that you took time out to actually hear, listen to my intern at the same time, you know, took time out to talk to me and have me on the show. I think what you're doing is amazing. I love the name Boomerang DNA. I have to say that I've been wanting to ask <laughs> Which, how did that come about? But I'm sure you'll share that later. Uh, but yes, uh, from whatever that I've seen, uh, you've, you've just been doing an amazing job with your story and, you know, uh, bringing hope to people's lives. So that's, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Same to you. I mean, that's where we're really trying to do the same thing. We just do it different ways. But um, yeah. and we really want to just be a light for folks and an opportunity for them to know there's something more, right? There's There's hope. There is hope. Don't ever give up. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. With that, folks, thanks again for being here. Another episode of Matt Chat Live. You can join us every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern here in the United States. And then following right after that at 7 p.m. here tonight, uh, Eastern time, you can watch us or you can't watch us, but you can tune in and listen. Uh, let's get naked. And we'd love to have you on the stage there as well. So join us tonight uh, as we continue to press in to some certain areas we've been talking about recently uh, would be some of those areas about uh, your time, how you value time. And uh, of late, the past couple of weeks, we've been pressing in about the artistry of who you are and what you do and to be afraid to do it. So uh, well, let's talk about that some more tonight on Let's Get Naked. So until the next time, thanks everybody. Welcome again and have a great rest of the week. We look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks, Nettie. Appreciate you. Bye. Thanks, Matt. Take care. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to another episode here on the Hope Revealed Podcast Network. If you'd like to find out more information about this episode or learning more about Matt's coaching or consulting services, resources, or booking information he has available, please visit mattcrump.tv. And thank you again for tuning in. And remember, in any dark place or any uncertain moment, Right around the corner, there can always be a hope revealed.